We have some troubling new video to begin with here at 10 tonight. It shows a group of teens with guns outside of a home in one southern Colorado neighborhood, and the people who live here understandably are terrified. It's not just happening there either. 11 News anchor Blake Salmon has a warning from police tonight for all of us. Police say this type of crime unfortunately is on the rise. Adam, I talked to police today. They say that juvenile crime is a growing problem here in Colorado Springs, especially violent juvenile crime. I talked to two victims today. Here's what they had to say. You know, it's your home. It's violating. You kind of don't know what to feel. That homeowner says her security cameras captured armed teens going into her open garage and stealing her property Tuesday night. 11 News is not identifying her to protect her identity. She says the incident raises some unsettling questions. It's it's jarring. You know, the, the garage door doesn't always the, into the house doesn't always get locked every single night. So was that could they have come inside any other night? She is not alone. I feel a little violated. My wife feels a little violated. Springs resident Teddy says a similar group of people got into his garage last week and stole his wife's car. I was a bit in shock because, I mean, we're not in a rich neighborhood, but it's also not a, a dangerous neighborhood, or at least I've always perceived it that way. I reached out to Springs Police. They tell me these kinds of crimes are becoming more common. Quote, this is something we've seen across our city and is something our investigators have an eye on. Juvenile crime, especially violent juvenile crime, has been increasing in our community. That homeowner says she has a message for those responsible. It's not if, but when you get caught. You're eventually going to find a house where it does turn out different. And I know you think you're cool and you think you're, you know, these big bad gangsters, but you're 15 and life is really long and you're about to make it short, which is unfortunate. Now, Springs Police say there's a number of ways you can keep yourself safe. Number one, lock your car, and before you do that, make sure to remove any and all valuables. Number two, get a motion, de motion lights detecting system and camera system, and also remember to close and lock all your doors and windows at night. Live in Colorado Springs, I'm Blake Salmon, 11 News. Important things to remember uh, to maybe keep yourself safe. All right, Blake, thank you. Let's.